booktubers so i am sitting down today to give you guys a little bit of an update and also do my top 10 sellers for the month of august you guys always seem to love these videos and i think they're really fun to do because i like to see what you guys are purchasing that i'm telling you guys about a couple things first of all i wanted to tell you guys that i am starting a new thing so for the next probably month and a half two months i'm still only going to be doing one video a week Whereas typically when I come back in the fall, I do go back to my two a week. I'm only going to be doing one a week for a little bit because I am actually going through a boot camp series for YouTube and it's just to learn more about YouTube and how to, you know, edit and thumbnails and like, you know, how to kind of help my channel out the best. And I just hit 10 years on YouTube last Saturday. That is insane, guys. I cannot believe it. And so many of you have been with me since back with the brick wall days and the old TV behind me and all that kind of stuff. And my channel has come a long way and I have loved every moment of it, but I definitely think it kind of got to a point where I was like, okay, I need to take a step back and kind of figure out my channel because I realized this summer when I was only doing one video a week that I was kind of rushing things a little bit too much when I looked back at some of my other videos. I would hurry up and sit down and do something because it needed to have a video, two videos that week versus really thinking content out and making sure I'm giving you guys really good stuff. So that being said, for the next 10 weeks, you will still only be seeing one video a week and we'll see kind of where it goes from there. Follow me over on Instagram to see kind of like, cause I'm gonna ask questions on Instagram and do polls because what I learn, I'm then gonna ask you guys so I can figure out if you guys like the idea of something changing or not. Like as an example, I, every time I'm, I'd say it's about like an 80, 20, 80% 80 of you love that I get on and say hi again, YouTubers, 20% of you hate it. So put a comment below and let me know whether you love it or hate it just because I find that interesting to see. I just naturally say it. I'm gonna jump right into it. Num the Sam Edelman and it is the Maureen booty but it's spelled like M-A-U-R-I-N-E and this is what they look like. I have them in the grayish kind of bluish color. I'm obsessed with these. They're gorgeous. I can't wait to wear them with leggings, with jeans, with everything. I love that the heel is not too high. I love that it's open on the side. It just is so cute. It kind of, to me, is a little reminiscent of when Rag and Bone first came out with those booties that had the like these like um, straps across them. I love these, they're a great deal. They come in three different colors, I believe it is. Definitely a camel color, a black color, and this color. But these things are super comfortable, guys, and I really am just excited to wear these. I really think they're gonna be an awesome fall staple, like going in and transitioning. And with it not being too high of a heel, it's a great like throw it on and go type of piece. This is a new one, I just picked up another one, is the Nike Logo Tanks. I have it in white, black, blue, and now pink. This is what it looks like. It does run true to size. I get it in a size medium. This is what it looks like. I love this. I love that it has a lower neck. I have some of the ones from last year that are really high. Like see how this even sits a little bit lower. I have the ones that are up here. I don't like a really tight high neck shirt on me while I'm working out. So these are just amazing. They're super lightweight. It has the T back on the back of it. It sits a little bit lower in the armhole. It just flows nicely on you. I am upset. These are probably the favorite tank that I have had in quite some time. They are just really, really great for reference as well on all of this stuff, guys. I am five foot, five and a half, five foot, almost five foot six. Long story, if you watch my Nordstrom videos, I'll tell you more about that. Um, I am right now about 150 pounds. Uh, I typically wear a size medium in tops, a size large in jackets, pants or shorts. I wear a size large in shorts or a size 10 in jeans. Uh, my shoes, I am typically an eight and a half. Those booties run true to size too, by the way. I'm an eight and a half in those. Um, this one, so many of you guys got this and I picked up one originally and then I ended up with a second one. And this is a dupe. This is not an original. I have considered buying the original of this. This is a Gucci leather belt dupe. I have it in the black and the kind of more like cognac color. The cognac one is a slight bit smaller than the black one. I actually don't know how I ended up with that that way. I like the size of the black one better. Both of them have the gold. These are both from Amazon, same seller. I just basically have always thought about getting one of these Gucci belts, but they're either sold out or 
I just don't like want to bite the bullet. I think they're like $350 and I just don't want to bite the bullet on it right then. And I was like, how much will I wear it? So these are in the like 29, maybe $30 range, I think. And I was like, okay, I can get it, try it, see how much I wear it. And if I love it, then I can buy the actual belt. Um, I am learning that I like the, prefer the cognac color to the black. If I was to buy one, it would be in that color. Um, but these are just such a great item and you guys are all loving it too. You can't beat a good dupe. They're super well made and really, really nice quality. Like, why not give it a shot? And that is the Gibson, like, I think it's called the Puff Sleeve Pullover Blouse. And this is what it looks like. We all know this is my favorite color. I love it. It's got a nice rounded neck, but it's not too close. These puff sleeves, guys, it is so cute. Like, look at this sleeve. It kind of reminds me of the Free People one from last year, but the Free People one was shorter. This is longer. It has a high low. It is shorter in the front, longer in the back. I got this in a small. Okay, so I do remember this. It ran large. I probably actually could even go down to an extra small. It is $54, but it's so soft and so fleecy. I have like the cow neck version of these. I have so many of these sweatshirts or sweaters. They're just perfect with a pair of leggings, a pair of jeans, anything. They're my favorite thing in the fall. Six are the Wit and Wisdom Absolution Jeans. I have them in blue and in black. My black ones are in the laundry, um, so I pulled out my blue ones. I have worn these so much this summer, and if you see this, this is the absolution. This band is super stretchy, and it helps to really suck you in around your midsection, which is the area that we all have problems with, and we don't want that muffin top or any of those things. You want a nice, smooth abs in the front and through the sides. And these are the blue wash. These are the ankle length, which on me, hit me just below my ankle, like where my actual ankle is. Um, they are super comfortable. I did get them in a size 10. They do stretch out slightly, like meaning as you wear them through the day, you notice it kind of like wears in. I probably could have gotten these in a size eight, but when I ordered them, I was still kind of losing some weight. So I went with the 10. So I do like the 10. I will be able to wear the 10, however, uh, next time they're on sale, I think I might pick up a pair in the size eight. So lots of different colors in these, everything. Um, these are just, and they're not very expensive. I, they are, in, I think they're normally $68 and I have found them on sale at Nordstrom recently and they have a ton of colors in them and I think they were like $48. So if you've ever considered getting these, go now. The blue ones are not currently on sale. I think it's just the black and the colors, but definitely go check it out if you had been considering picking a pair of these up. So I just realized that I think I have 11 things today by mistake. I was counting, I was like, oh, which one am I on? And then I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't match up. But these are the Nike free TR8s, I think they're called. They're like training eights. Uh, I love these so much, guys. I have them in black and in gray, so comfy. I love these because they slip on and they don't have a tongue. I hate when I'm at the gym and the tongue moves around on the sneaker, drives me insane. So these are just super soft, super comfy, just so awesome, I love them. These do run true to size. I have them both in an eight and a half and I'm just obsessed with them. They are honestly one of my favorite pairs of sneakers. They're just so comfortable. I even throw these on when I'm going out with just a pair of leggings and a sweater just because that black sneaker, it just looks nice and it's super comfy. So if you're running errands and stuff, like you can have that look, you know what I mean, of more of a black stylish like look with a pair of leggings that doesn't quite look like you're going to and from the gym as much so as like the gray pair or an athletic pair. Next item on my list is the Castellan, and this is the Knit Blazer, I think it's called. I have it in a size medium. Guys, these things are amazing. I have it in this color, I have a plum color, and I just ordered like a kind of corally color, kind of coral slash rust um, that you guys will see coming up fairly soon. These are amazing. If you love blazers and the look of blazers, but you're not good with those really structured, structured blazers, these are the way to go. Like, look how much, it's like a sweater. It's like a fleecy 
sweater you're wearing. They are lightweight. This isn't going to be something that's super heavy, but I wear it with just like a t-shirt, like actually what I'm wearing now, not with the gray one, obviously, but like with a t-shirt and a pair of jeans, the Gucci belt, and just a nice little pair of wedges. It looks so cute and so put together. I am obsessed with these. I love a good blazer anyway, but I love a good soft blazer even more than anything else. The next item that you guys are loving, counting it down, are the Free People jeans. I talked about these during my Nordstrom anniversary sale. I picked them up in two colors, the dark blue and the lighter blue. I think they have them in green as well. If you have watched all the bloggers out there rave about those Levi's like 701 jeans, the one with the really big ripped hole just at the knee, kind of like this, but you got those and you tried them on and they were way too stiff and way too uncomfortable, these are for you. They are under the $100 mark, which I always think is good for a pair of jeans. They have a good amount of stretch to them. They are way more comfortable. They have the give to them. I did get these in a size, I had to size up in these, size 31, so typically a 10 or a 30. And these I had to size up in them. They did run a little bit tight, but I am obsessed with these guys. These are probably one of the more comfortable jeans that I have that are like a distressed jean. And I love it in the lighter color for times coming up. I just love the look. And I love distressed jeans, but I love the fact that these are a distressed with just at the knee and that's it. It's just a really nice detail, you know, to mix with things. So you have a little bit of distressing, but it's not like all over the place and too busy. All right, the next item is the barefoot cardigans and this is the cozy chic light one. Uh, cozy chic light. I got it in a small medium. I probably honestly could have gone to an extra small. But the good side with this is this is one that I personally just wear around the house at nighttime. Uh, I like my house super cold at night, but when I'm sitting around watching TV, I want to have a sweater on and then I take it off when I go to bed. So I love this. I love the pockets. I love how straight it is. It is so soft and cozy. I have always loved Barefoot Dreams. But this is a different, it's like more of a fluffy, this one feels more like a PJs type of look, where the other ones are ones that I would wear out. Um, I mean, you can wear this out. I just personally think it's too big on me, and I bought it that way because I wanted to kind of have it more as like a robe style. But I love this thing. These are pricey, those guys. So those of you that bought them probably bought them when they were on sale still. I will keep an eye out, and if I ever see them back on sale, I will let you know on my Instagram. But these are just they're so nice, guys. I have blankets, hats. I have bought for gifts in the last couple of years. I have bought um, blankets for family members. I have bought sweaters for family members, all in the Barefoot Dreams, because I am obsessed with it that much. All right, item number two. This is the Nordstrom. I forget if it's just called the Nordstrom line. Um, oh, Nordstrom Signature. Should have looked at the sweater. Uh, this is 100% cashmere, so this is pricey, guys. FYI, I feel like the Barefoot Dreams, a lot of people buy those, but this, I'm a little bit shocked that you guys all bought it and that it was that big of a seller, that it's number two on my list. Um, it's size medium. I am obsessed with this, guys. It is cashmere. It is expensive. It is around the $200 mark. It might be a little bit more. It might be $250. I got it on sale. I splurge on sale and get um, cashmere because it's so nice. But this is the detail. It's a cardigan that has this beautiful little ruffle down at the bottom. How cute is this? I am just obsessed with this. I love this color anyway. It's perfect just to throw on over anything and it really just can dress up a look. I love it and it's so, so, so soft. It's just amazing. You do have to dry clean cashmere. Keep that part in mind. And the last item, number one, on the top sellers for the month of August. Let's see here. Free People, and it's called the Rainbow Thermal, I think it is. I have it in a size medium. It does come in a green, a pink, and maybe a gray, I think it is. It has this gorgeous rainbow detailing down the front of it, on the sleeves as well. It is super comfy. I love this color. It does very well on me. I love this. I'm so glad so many of you did. And why I think it's such a big seller in August is it went back on sale at Nordstrom. I don't know if it still is. I forgot to check that, but I will link it below. It is so well worth it. I have washed it, worn it. I wear it with shorts. I love this. It is just such a great purchase. 
So those are all of the top sellers for the month of August from you guys and what you guys picked up and things that I mentioned. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I would love to hear your thoughts on my channel and what you guys would like to see changed on my channel. What do you see more of, less of? What do you want to see the same? What do you, you know, not want me to get rid of? Anything you guys can tell me that you guys are seeing. I would love to hear about that. Well, if you guys have any questions, as always, guys, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching, guys. If you are not yet subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. That is where you guys see like updates on sales and just what I'm doing and anything else that is going on right then and there. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day. Bye.